What's going on guys? We're welding today. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to prep and weld your chassis reinforcement plates along with your rear trailing arm pocket reinforcement plates on your E36. So your first step is gonna be removing the whole rear subframe assembly from your E36. As you can see, we already did that. So when you start, you're pretty much gonna see the whole under chassis look similar to this pocket. These pockets are gonna be the hardest ones to clean and prep just because of the corner that it's in. It's really hard to get to in some areas. If you can get the pockets cleaned up pretty well, you can get the other mounting points uh, cleaned uh, fairly easy just because they are more open. So if you look over here, you can see I already have this all smooth and pretty much done down to the bare metal ready for weld. So for this reinforcement piece, which is the front side of the chassis, the two holes actually face the inside of the car. Once you line it up, you can actually see it follows the contour of the chassis pretty well. So you would then put in your factory bolt to hold it in place and then position it pretty much exactly where you want it. The holes on the reinforcement plate are actually there for a plug weld. So you do weld inside this hole, it adds that extra reinforcement to the plate. Once you've tacked it and you're happy with the position of it, go ahead and weld it all in. For the rear pieces of the reinforcement plates, the uh, pointier tip, same thing, faces the inside of the car. And you can see if it's perfect. You can't really put it the other way. It just won't line up, it'll just stick out, so. For the pocket reinforcement plate, uh, same thing, pretty straightforward. You can't really install this anywhere else. The thin side of the bracket towards the outside of the car. And then when you weld it, you actually want to weld along the inside of the reinforcement plate along with the outside. The parts that actually fail in the corners is the actual mounting points actually get ripped out of the car. So these three will actually just rip out of the car. It'll be a nice hole there, there, and there. Now I'm going to show you the tools that I recommend to use to prep the whole chassis. So the tools you're going to be needing is going to be a wire wheel and a scotch brite pad on an angle grinder. Uh, this is going to do majority of the work. Uh, this one should knock off a lot of the big gunk and then this one should polish it down so it's the bare metal. Because you don't want to use uh, a sandpaper that actually is going to grind away the metal. You just want to expose the bare metal without shaving anything off or making it thinner. What's up y'all? Prepping the chassis. As you can see I got some of these all done up. Uh, all four mounting points for the subframe, pocket reinforcements going in. Been out of two hours now. My neck hurt, looking up, shoulders burned. It sucks, but gotta be done. Rome's actually gonna be here uh, soon, and he's actually gonna weld these uh, these plates up for me. Gonna keep cleaning. Nice, look who's here. Perfect timing. It's cold. I wonder what he has in the trailer. Let our own. This thing is what we're doing? <sighs> yeah. Hey, it's fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks like Spidey's. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. That shit, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. So, yeah, do you have the, the pockets? Yep, everything's right here. Oh, look. A spidey. That's not a spidey, that's a leaf. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rome doesn't like spiders. No, no, no. Hello. This is the right thing to do first. Most people underestimate the plating of the rear end. No, so I've never abused this car in the eight years I've had it. Doesn't it. matter. I've done I've, it. I've seen a completely automatic ones, like, like mm. it's all torn. Torn? Yep. It doesn't matter. It's just. Whenever they decide yeah. to tear, they're still tearing. Yeah, so I don't know if I just got lucky. Yeah, this is a good one. So, hey guys, uh, you're here with Rome from Imagine Garage. Uh, we're actually going to be doing the welding portion of this uh, segment. And up here is the welding plates. As you saw, Tito already prepped everything, got it all designed and set up. Uh, today we're using a Miller welder, it's similar to the one we have at home. This is a Miller 211. 
Uh, I pretty much just set it on auto set, so 0 .030, which is the wire that we're running, and then uh, 18 gauge. 18 gauge tends to be a good gauge for these chassis. Um, as you know, they're really thin, and it's really easy to blow holes in them. Also, you're gonna notice I don't continuous pulse because you'll get hot spots in it. It actually makes the outside of the weld uh, brittle where the chassis is. So I tend to pulse it so I can control the heat temperature that we are all the way around the pad to not overheat it or catch things on fire inside. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So we made one pass with it, you can kind of see how it is. If you look, it lays pretty flat. So that's kind of what we're looking for is nice, even level welds. The cleaner you can get the metal, uh, the less popping you hear. So if you notice you hear some, some popping going on with this, uh, it, you're hitting spots that aren't super, super clean. So we just need to prep it as well as possible. It is pretty old metal, it's kind of contaminated. That's why we normally don't TIG these. Uh, Cause we don't know what's on the other side, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just continue around and do all the pleats the same way. Well, there you have it guys, a lot, a lot, a lot of cleaning and prepping it. It's, it'll make for way better welds, uh, but once you got it all in, make sure you uh, hit a couple coats of paint, make sure it doesn't rust, and you're set. Go ahead and throw all your uh, rear end back together, your gas tank back together if you dropped it. Uh, I did, so good luck. And just quick shout out to Rome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the help. Uh, I caught it. I probably could have welded this, but it would probably came out looking like crap. So professional. Thank you. Appreciate the help.